Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. His part his partner from the night before was nowhere to be seen. No, I figured that would be the case. Feelings that flowed from the cats were rot and rot with pain. No, I wouldn't be able to just see him off quietly. So wait, where's the other guy? No, we just said he wasn't there. Yeah, why isn't he there? After this, the sacrifice would go to the home of the elder. He'd purify him himself, holding a ceremony to bring peace to his soul, and then. Thoughts. The thought was unbearable, and Kanoe looked away. The sacrifice never looked up, but his ears were determinedly turned forward. The ceremony would be held at midnight. Those who wanted food gathered quietly at the at the home of the elder. No, I thought he would never join them, no matter how hungry he was. Maybe the sacrifice's partner. It was the burp. <laughs> Maybe the sacrifice's partner was always thinking of just, just the same thing. No, I sympathized. He made his chest. It made his chest ache. Sacrifice. As long as you were a cat of Karo, you could not escape from the law. Suddenly, a feeling of anger surfaced. You're gonna break through. You're gonna. You're gonna <laughs> yeah. Kick down Some... the metaphorical door. <laughs> Something about this law was odd. The elder chose the sacrifice. It was unfair. He ate and then decided who should be eaten next. Yeah. Why doesn't the old guy get like chosen? No, I cursed him. Art in his heart. He didn't understand why he was so angry. Perhaps it was because of what he saw the night before. This method existed because people were starving. It was unnecessary if anyone wanted. It was necessary if anyone wanted to survive. It was the only way. He understood. He understood it. Noe clenched his fist, nails digging into his palm, and walked away slowly. Oh, you could've done it! No, you could've saved him! <laughs> Maybe! At last, Noe reached his home, suddenly feeling uneasy. Think back up. Oh no. He raised his ears and looked ahead. There was nothing odd about the place. So there's a snake slipping around yeah, in the sushi. bushes. But still, he remained in place for a while and thought, maybe he was becoming oversensitive. There was nothing strange. It was just his home, same as always. Now I walked towards the entrance. Unless there's something inside. Mm -hmm. He held the door open with his hand. Gosh. And looked at his surroundings just to be sure. There was nothing, no sounds, no traces of activity. Thank goodness. No, I ex exhaled a bit. And that's where everything goes wrong. <laughs> oh gosh. Nothing to worry about. Something to worry about. <laughs> oh gosh. His, okay, his tension fading. No, I dropped his gaze to his feet and- See the snake! Froze. Ah. Oh gosh, no! Okay. Nope, nope, A snake. No, it was a trail left behind by a snake. Oh man, so you don't even know where the snake is! Like, snuck no. into your house and his whole body shuddered, his pupils widened, and Kanoe erased the trail left with his foot. For a moment, his vision was dyed green, as if the memory of the dream came back to him. I wonder if you chose a different option, or somehow, like, whatever you did, you mm -hmm. got the other colors. You huh? didn't get green, you got the red or the blue. Oh. His throat closed up and Kanoe felt as if he was choking, he put a hand to his neck. That dream, was it reality? God. <sighs> he viciously trampled the snake's trail with all his might, again and again until... There was no trace of it left. All he saw were some marks that looked like a, like a snake's trail. It wasn't related to the dream, just a real snake passing by, as they usually did. There was no meaning to it. Now he pulled himself together. I'm sorry. Like, whenever my dogs go out, they would kill a snake. They would bring it back. 
and the cats would be like super excited about it. <laughs> I don't know why, they were always just like batting the snake in the air. And I think the, the dogs kind of did that as like a sacrificial kind of like, if we bring you this snake, oh you won't hurt us. And it never actually happened. But there was always like an unspoken thing that like when one cat passed down the hallway, the dog's like, uh-uh. <laughs> got it. Got to wait in the other room, and he would just, like most of the dogs would just chill in the other room. Like, cat, that's gone. <laughs> he slowly closed his eyes and took a deep, took in a deep breath. Since yesterday, things had begun to feel strange. Just tired. He muttered to himself. He opened his eyes again and looked up at his feet. The ground was a mess, and the trail had disappeared. Now I decided to just head inside and go right to bed. Mm, yeah, here we go again. Thank for not tidy. <sighs> now I set traps at the window and doorway just in case. Nice. Nice. Good job. He tossed his bag aside and groomed to calm himself down. After that, Kanoe curled up and went to sleep. The nightmare came again that evening. Okay, let me just get <laughs> mentally prepared for this. Oh, God. Now we need a dog to come in here, heal the snake, <laughs> and let the other cat play play with it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now I was in that mysterious place again. Just the same as last night, Kanoe drift drifted softly. The faint light bloomed in front of his eyes. Thump thump. He could hear a pulse. Just like last night, a light overwhelmed him, but this time it was oh, not green. So oh, so switch colors now! Like, okay. Every night. Don't tell me this is gonna happen four times. Good lord. <laughs> like, he's not gonna get any. Okay. Hello. A yellow light covered Kanoe, blocking his view. It was so brilliant and bright, he couldn't see a thing. Now he contorted, contorted his face as he tried to open his eyes and draw a breath. A cold touch curled around his ankle. At once his blood curdled. Snake again. Yellow serpent. Mm. Oh, snakes. Just like yesterday's dream, the snake coiled around his throat. Feel it. <laughs> it sounds the same. <laughs> I don't even know. A voice echoed in his head. Out of the corners of his eye. Out, yeah, out of the corners of his eye, Kanoe saw it. The head of this yellow snake. He raised his hands and tried to claw the snake off his neck. But to Kanoe's surprise, the snake could not tighten its grip when he struggled. Its tongue flickered out, fluttering over Kanoe's cheek and neck. Oh, so this gonna get a little. Touchy Gave him chills. It was such an odd feeling. The snake's tail be- <laughs> Oh gosh. Whoa! <laughs> the snake's tail deviously came up and raised the hem of his shirt. Oh god. His skin felt slimy and as soon as it touched mm. him, Kanoe trembled. Oh, I'm not feeling it. Uh, I'm not feeling it. Okay, I'm feeling comfortable right now. <laughs> <laughs> Each time its smooth body shifted over his skin, he felt a sensation that was difficult to describe. I feel like we should not- this is a really <laughs> private thing, and we should not be here right now. This is like super- okay. Unintentionally, Noe's ears turned down and he held his breath. We shouldn't be able to do that. The snake traced his body with a sharp- with a sharp tail as if it knew him. God! Oh, I'm just, I'm uh, not feeling safe right about now. <laughs> Stop! You feel it? Overflowing from my scales, my tongue, my eyes, my heartbeat, my existence. Do you feel it? I'm like a small child and <laughs> really screwing me up right now. The snake whispered. It kept inquiring. He 
answer. What am I to you? What do you feel? Get the fuck out. That's what I'm feeling. Oh, <laughs> uh, you don't... Mm -mm. <laughs> Noah's body reacted to the simulation lightly, as if there was it was no longer his own. The snake... Oh. <laughs> now okay the tails the tails <laughs> the tails tail the snake's tail began to rub his groin through his clothes oh i'm not feeling safe right <laughs> now <laughs> mm, oh my God. wait a second what if if he does have this recurrent nightmare two more times how are the other snakes going to be then <laughs> Okay. Noe grit his teeth and and okay. Noe grit his teeth and twisted to escape the caressing of the snake. Still, the snake demanded. I'm not. I'm really not feeling okay with this. Answer. Please okay. <laughs> Oh, we get to answer oh. again. No, uh, uh, so what do we feel? Not an image of pleasure. Okay, so molestation? Yes. Okay. Oh god. No, he could not escape this if he did not answer. He know he knew this through instinct and tried to think in earnest. Kanoe did not speak any words, but the snake dropped its movement stopped its movement. He wondered if it had read his thoughts like the green snake. The cur the caresses stopped, the slime still glistened on the skin. The yellow snake began to move, move deliberately, its wet belly undulating. undulating. Oh, okay. Are you suffering? No, you're left in wants, aren't you? Your lust is unbearable! Oh my god, I am super uncomfortable <laughs> right now! I am... You don't like that oh, snake play? No! No! <laughs> oh my god! No! The snake opened its mouth wide and laughed, tormenting Kanoe. Tormenting me! Good lord! Add sun into that! Ugh. <laughs> tormenting Kanoe and sun. <laughs> yeah, really! Heat flared up in the depths of Kanoe's stomach. It was an it was a sensation. It was a it was a sensation that he had not felt before, completely unknown. He couldn't help but want to escape, even if this was just a dream. Mm. The snake scaled, shone, and glittered with slime. Oh my god! Ew! This, oh my! I'm super uncomfortable with this right now. <laughs> no, I wanted to throw off the snake, but his body couldn't move. His body ached with desire. All he could do was double over. Uh, oh, oh god! <laughs> the snake's sharp, sharp eyes approached his side. It was impossible to turn his face away from it. It laughed at Kanoe, and its tongue flickered in and out, teasing the nape of his neck. Are we done yet? Oh, <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh my god! Oh, I'm so uncomfortable right now. I'm like scratching my own neck. <laughs> Ugh. Touch. Oak, oh, oak, oh, glitchy touch effect. That was cool. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, thank you. God. Kanoe jolted awake. Thoughts. <sighs> he stared at the ceiling, hearing his own rough breathing. He'd had the same dream again. This time, it was of a yellow snake. Oh my god. Kanoe sat up slowly and put a hand to his forehead. His whole body was drenched in sweat. Okay, you control the mouse. If I gotta say something, call me back. I just I need wait, to walk over wait, here. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> you, you. Oh, oh gosh. God. Oh, okay. Oh. Cool. Cool. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh god. Taking over. Okay. Oop. He felt something odd on his arm and touched it. A chill ran down his spine. There was something slimy on his skin. No, he scanned his surroundings with his eyes. Nothing in the traps? Nothing was in the traps he set up, at the windows or the door. The only places anything could get in or out. Nor was there anything on the floor by his bed. 
Was it a dream? Or... He thought about meandering trail on the ground in front of his home. Had the snake entered at that time? But the snake from tonight was different color than, was a different color than the one yesterday. Did that mean that two of them had come into his house? Maybe there was a small hidden crevice somewhere through which they passed? He needed to settle down for a bit. Certainly, it was true the snake and his dream came out. Okay. <laughs> oh god! It was a shockingly vivid dream. That was all he could say. Kanoe sighed sharply and lashed the ground with his tail, dust danced in the moonlight that illuminated his, the room. Tomorrow, he would search. He couldn't be certain that there wasn't a secret entrance into his home. This is tomorrow night, too? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. After grooming himself a bit, Noe wrapped himself up in his sheets. You're not going back again. The cloud covered the moon shadow, which hung above the window. He felt a bad foreboding that made him uneasy. The following day, he would face the reality of his recent... Yeah, good job. Well, the next morning, the sky was already blanketed thick with thick clouds. It seemed as though it would rain. No, he didn't get much sleep again that night, so he got out of bed in the early afternoon. He couldn't shake the thoughts of the green and yellow snakes, and as a result, he felt irritated. The first thing Kanoe did when he got up was check for any holes through which a small animal could have crawled into his home. But there were none to be found. Well, I know. No, yeah, yeah, you put traps. Yeah. You put traps. Mind, mind, mind. yeah. <laughs> Annoyed, he scratched up the ground. Kanoe was about to get up and head out again when he heard something striking at him on his door. Take a snake. I'm out. Huh? No, he listened closely. He heard rough breathing on the other side. It seemed that someone was outside. Taking a low profile, No, he silently approached the door. He pressed his back to the wall and watched. The other person was still there. No, he still heard restless breathing. Was this person injured? Not dropping to his drop, not dropping his guard. No, he tried to carefully open up the door. Through the gap of the door, he saw the clothes of the other person. Hey! Noe called out. There was no answer. We gotta get into some other character. Please don't be a side character. <laughs> Suddenly, he felt a force against the door. It was bad. Noe pulled back at once. The door flew open and the cat pounced. The cat was heaving for air and had aura of bloodthirst around him about him. His ears were laid black, back flat and Kanoe feared his back brows. He was gone. The cat's left ear was missing. The cat exhaled and threatened breath. Exhaled a threatened breath and looked up. <gasps> no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. No! 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 Oh my god! Fuck! <laughs> huh? I I'm sorry. Yeah. Kanoe unintentionally gasped. The cat's eyes glared with an intense light, but it was only the right eye. There was a black hole in the place where his left eye should have been. Even though it was hollowed out, it didn't seem like an in injury. It was just like the left ear. It just stopped existing. Could this be in regards to the void? All of a sudden, like... Even his eye is rejecting it? I don't know. Oh, the sickness. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wait, who, who's talking? Who oh, said God. that? Um. Uh. I guess. I guess. We'll, we'll say it together, cat, okay? The, the sickness. <laughs> the cat bared his fangs. Sickness. It was a mysterious disease that came widespread about three years ago. I thought that only affected the women, though. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Or maybe, maybe it was just a majority. Yeah. Okay. Oh, dang. That's 
terrible. Organs would disappear overnight, accompanied by fever and excruciating pain. The mortality rate was high. Yeah, if your organs are disappearing, it's like, how do you wake up one morning and go, hey, oh god, my kidney's gone. <laughs> <laughs> The onset rate was low, but for females it was different. The onset rate was high for them, and death was almost certain. Okay. So it, it, it's low, it, but it still can yeah, happen. Yeah. yeah. Because of this, females were scarce. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't do screams. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The cat raised his voice in a cry and pounced. Oh no. He lashed out with his sharp claws. Noe jumped back immediately and retaliated. However, it was hard to do so in such a small place. Face. The cat scowled at, Kno scowled at Kanoe, as if upset that he returned his attack. There was no light in his eyes, as if he had lost his sanity. Naki. Naki, I think Naki's dead already. That's probably why he wouldn't sing. That too begins like I just disappeared randomly overnight. <laughs> the cat kicked off the floor and threw himself on Kanoe. Kanoe dodged the arm that lashed out and retreated into his room. Kanoe fixed his eyes on the cat. He remembered this face. Oh nair. Oh, so he did see? Okay, yeah, he did see them, yeah. Yeah, because he passed them by. Yeah, okay. That was it. Was he not the companion of the sacrificial cat? Uh, I'm sorry, this is... Uh, Ugh. The cat's anger boiled over and he growled. Oh, okay, that was... He growled. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a zombie groan. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I didn't want to fight him. He felt... It, he felt feelings like sympathy sympathy spread through his chest. Oh. The other cat lost his companion and now developed the sickness himself. He was angry, but behind that stagnating deep within was endless sorrow and despair. Noe lost the will to fight and relax his body. His bristled tail returned to no normal. Uh, then you better defend because he is still going. He, he got that shield. He has that shield. Yeah, he really yeah. needs to pick that up. Yeah. The cat looked at him curiously for a moment, but then his expression intensified and he bared his fangs as though he thought he was being mocked. The cat's eyes gleamed and he rushed toward forward for a third time. Kanoe jumped aside and struck back to push the opponent against the wall. The cat failed to land his strike and flew into the wall. The cat now fell down in a whirlwind of dust, no longer moving. Noe approached the cat. He looked at his empty eye socket and found it unbearable. The cat grimaced in pain and panted lightly. Now, Kanoe crouched down and tried to touch the shoulder of the fallen cat. He felt hot. The cat seemed to be running a fever. He trembled, but did not resist him. Kanoe could leave him like that. He intended to take him to the sh 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 shamanic healer. There's a healer here? There wasn't any medicine that could cure him com com completely, but at least it would ease the pain somewhat. Can you stand? I'm taking you to the healer, okay? The cat shook his tail instead of answering with his, with his voice. Noe left the home while carefully supporting the other cat's body. Sweat dripped from the cat's skin, and from his rough breathing, it was easy to tell that he was in a great amount of pain. Okay, I would like to point out, there is a shit ton of spears over here. <laughs> Why do we have these? Noe was startled as he, as he walked toward the healer. There were other cats crouching down and moaning throughout the village. Oh, oh no. no. There were people missing arms, legs, tails, and ears. It was the onset of the sickness. Oh gosh. Until now, there had never been so many infected. It's time for you to move, sir. <laughs> Either way, Kanoe only intended to get this cat to safety. So he headed for the home of the healer. Oh. 
Other diseased cats were entering the healer's house. The aged medicine man was completely exhausted by the situation and grumbled that this was the first time there had been an outbreak like this. The other cats in the house were whispering about whether or not this might have been a curse, a consequence from taking too many sacrifices. They were talking about leaving for Ronson, and Ronson, they didn't have sacrifices. Yeah, time to go to Ronson. <laughs> Kanoe heard that the Void's damage also wasn't as severe there, so he understood why they were considering it. Yeah, everyone should have left. Why are we still here? By the time Kanoe went home, the moon of light was setting behind the horizon. If it, had been, if it was decided that there was no saving a person who was infected with the sickness, the sick person was set aside as food. Understanding this, no, I felt discon disconcerted. <coughs> A melody floated on the wind. Kanoe stopped and looked back. No, 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 it's getting dark. That means we gotta go to sleep. And I don't, I don't really want to be about that snake touching thing again. Oh, oh no, we get a cat. A lone cat was leaning in the shade under a tree. The cat was wrapped in several layers of clothing, but shrouded his face in shadow. He carried a lute and strummed the strings with his fingers, humming a song and bouncing his tail to keep in time. Man. Yes. <laughs> yes, something happy. It was the poet. Yeah, I'm about this guy. <laughs> I'm about this. On certain days, the poet would wander in and sing freely and then disappear without a trace. Thank you, because we really need a guy to sing <laughs> some stuff. Before the void came, no one in Cairo bothered to listen to him. They had little interest in anything outside fighting. Seriously? Y'all can't just take like 10 minutes? Do a little tap out kind of thing? <laughs> listen to some music and then go back? Do some square dancing together? Yeah, really, like, damn. But now, it was different. Everyone left their home to listen to him sing. The songs of this whimsical musician healed the cats to carrying hearts. Rubika could not read the language of the two canes. Instead, they often used song, pictures, and letters that they created themselves to convey their thoughts. Songs were important. In battle and in daily life, one could not go without- one could not do without them. <laughs> If he looked around, Kanoe could see that several cats were enchanted by the poet's song. The poet cat sang in a relaxed, slow tone, a delicate sound echoing whenever his fingers plucked the strings. It was an incredible harmony of voice and sound, and Kanoe began to walk towards the poet. He kept a modest distance and sat down, hence for some reason. Is he singing? Should we? Is the one of the singing cat one? Uh, so I think he is singing. Should we? I think we're too far because this is about to go away. Yeah. So. <laughs> if it, if it's, I think, I think it's like gonna go. Yeah, because I don't want to read it when he says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. It doesn't matter now. No, he closed his eyes. The poet's voice gradually terminated his ears, and mysterious comfort soothed him from within. The melody of the lyrics rolled over his head. He blankly thought about their meaning. The poet put away the past and told a dreamlike story through his song. Love. How many cats believed in such a thing now? In a world where they devoured each other just to survive. The sudden decline in females had weakened the cat's instincts to bring up another generation. Perhaps because of this, a lot of cats engaged in same-sex relationships. But, as a species, they had not lost the need to struggle on. In their everyday lives, fearing death and starvation, they could not waste energy on things that were unnecessary. Thus, Rebecca had distanced themselves from romantic dreams of love, love and affection. Who can be happy? Seriously, <laughs> is anyone gonna be happy? No one seems to be happy here! Just the poet! And we're probably gonna learn more about the poet in 
figure out that he actually has some tragic story to him. He's slowly dying or whatever. <laughs> I oh actually God. have cancer, so I'm singing around places. Yeah. The bittersweet flames, where do they flow now? <laughs> That's a great singing voice. Yeah. Okay. Feelings flowed from the voice of the poet to Kanohi's heart. He noticed he began to purr, wonder if maybe this was a love song. Although it was stifling, it was also a delightful and mysterious feeling. Kanoe slowly opened his eyes as if coming out of the dream. Nice dream, stamp. What a nice song, said softly. Kanoe murmured the words without thinking. The poet stopped his singing and turned his face towards Kanoe, his lips curled into the faintness of smiles. His fingertips danced over the strings without the care. Kanoe felt his tail bristle out, though he didn't know why, for some, some reason, he began to feel a little sad. No. Kanoe stared at the poet. What was this sensation? Though he had listened to him sing before, this was the first time he felt this way. Afterwards, the poet sang more songs about lost love and fierce battles. Eventually, he stood up and departed from the cats who were indulging in his music. Noe, who'd listened to the very end, now looked up. Where was he going? Would he leave this village? Noe stood up. Um. The poet looked back. Noe had only called out on impulse. Well, you know what's really cool about this? It's time to end the episode! Ah! <laughs> uh, another cliffhanger! <laughs> Nothing happy still. Uh, I guess one of these days we'll actually get something that's not entirely depressing. We got a singing cat. Yeah, that's singing about lost love. And <laughs> because nothing seems to go happy here, something's gonna be wrong with him. So... Yeah. Yeah. Um, time to go to sleep and not dream about weird snakes <laughs> groping people. <laughs> yeah, please no. <laughs> so we'll um see you guys in the next video then. Bye bye.